Good morning from the Cotswolds. Good morning everybody, welcome to another vlog. I feel like this is the first time in this whole trip where I was able just to like lay in bed, chill, and just relax. Because in Italy we did a, we packed a lot in a week. Like we were going between cities, we were taking trains, we were taking boat rides, getting the car, road trip. Because I'll be here for four days, I am able to just sit still and just relax. Um, so my form of relaxation was just laying in bed and just enjoying being in bed. But I am getting ready for breakfast. I'm actually going back downstairs to the restaurant at the inn that I'm staying in, which is the Old Stocks Inn. And last night's dinner, amazing. I I'm probably going to be going back down for dinner or another meal at some point, but I believe I have breakfast with my hotel rate. So I'm going to have breakfast down there, but afterwards I have to actually move my car again. More driving on the other side of the road. Thankfully I've built up a lot of courage. Courage? A lot of confidence and courage to be able to drive on the other side. Just got to be well aware, at least I have a good two hours under my belt doing that but going to be taking the car because I have to move it from this current parking spot. I can actually see it from where I'm standing. It's a two hour limit parking after nine o'clock, which means I have to leave it by 11. Anyways, my plans for today are just going to be going around the different villages in the Cotswolds. If you guys don't know, the Cotswolds is a very large region of series of villages throughout and I'm just going to be exploring, going to different towns. Um, a few that come off the cross of off the top of my head are Burton on the Water, Upper and Lower Slaughter, uh, Bibery, Bibbery? If I might be pronouncing these names incorrectly, forgive me, but it's going to be a full day of exploration. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Jerome. I'm a travel vlogger currently here in the Cotswolds, Stowe on the Wald Village. Oh wow, is that a Lamborghini that just passed by? <laughs> Here, doing a travel vlog series called Roam Around the World, where I take you around the world with me, Jerome, so please consider subscribing. These videos are meant to be more, like, follow me around type of vlogs with a little bit of information, but not so much. Just me being me, and you coming along. So, I will see you guys downstairs for breakfast. I am hungry. <laughs> Okay, just getting in the car, opposite side. Um, you know, breakfast ha ha was really good, and I think more than anything at this particular hotel inn, the service has just been so inviting and friendly. Like, I've had multiple interactions with people at the Old Stocks Inn, all been pleasant. From yesterday's girl I think I mentioned, to today's, like, I had a waiter and a host, and they were both so lovely. Breakfast was really good. I was able to choose from a, a line of appetizers, so I ended up getting like a croissant with jam and then a bowl of fruit, as well as a orange juice, water, and coffee. And then I was able to choose one main, and I ended up getting a Eggs Benedict with the hollandaise sauce and the poached egg. So good. Um, and I went upstairs quickly just to grab some stuff, and I was going down, um, I was holding my Hydra flask, and the waiter was just like, would you like me to fill your your bottle with fresh water? And I, <laughs> that's my accent. Um, and I was like, oh, you know, one, that was very thoughtful of him, but I also like went upstairs to fill my water, but that was very, <laughs> very thoughtful. So I'm gonna head over to a little town, which is I believe an eight minute drive from here, so not too far enough to just get me going with a drive-in called Burton on the Water. It was recommended by so many people and it is about a 10 minute drive actually. So I will see you guys there. Wish me luck. So just a 10 minute drive. I don't know how I was able to do it, but I was uh, passing by so many different street parking and I was having a hard time. So I found a paid parking 
a lot in like this field that was five pounds. Just like a couple minute walk all the way to the village. So we're just gonna go ahead and check that out. So I just got here at Burton on the Water. As you guys can see, there is a little river here called the Windrush River that kind of features the really low bridges that are really iconic to this area. Also, the stone houses, the stone structures here is very, very picturesque. But just gonna be walking around, maybe grab a coffee later on and uh, get back to you after that. So I've just been walking around for the past 30 minutes and I'm so sad because I was looking forward to this bakery that I had saved. Right behind me is bakery on the water and they're closed on Sundays so sayang naman. So was gonna go to the bakery over the on the water and found this bakery called the Cornish Bakery. Ended up getting a lemon pistachio polenta cake. Looks really good. And then I'm gonna actually waiting for my flat white that's gonna be brought out. Just sitting out here near the high street and uh, just enjoying like a mid-afternoon merienda, if you will, if you speak Tagalog. Um, snack before heading over to the next town. Okay, so back in the car. Merienda was good. Um, the flat white was like, I needed that just to like drink something. The polenta pistachio lemon cake was very dense. I ate it all, but it was very, it was an interesting texture. But next order of the business is heading over to another town here in the Cotswolds. I am hoping to go to this place called Bybury? Bibbery? Byberry? Uh, one of those might be correct, but I'm just so worried because I've been told, especially from my friend Jordan, who I was with in Italy, that there could be one-lane roads and then you may have to pull aside in the little dips to let people in and out. That adds another level of complexity that I am not ready for, but I've been trying to take a look at the route with the street view to see if there are any streets here that may have a one-lane road and I'm not so confident that it's just going to be two lanes in they're very narrow so wish me luck I'm getting nervous okay maybe I'll put you guys right over here so I just got here to, I have to figure out the name and how to pronounce this place, Bybury. Um, speaking of those one lane roads and the little patch on the sides to be able to come in and out and let people pass on a one lane road, went through that. Not as bad as I had expected. I think everybody who drives on that specific type of road has a mutual respect and understanding that we all don't want to hit each other's cars, so go slow, take it easy, take your time, let people in. People are very thankful, like they put their hand up to say thank you. About a 22 minute drive from here from Burden on the Water, and I'm excited. I was passing by and I was seeing first all of the street parking here, and I'm like, ooh, I don't know if I can do a street, like a parallel parking on the other side, sitting on the opposite side inside the car uh, but thankfully I passed all of that and actually it was very very tight just to go in and out but I got to overflow parking which is you know I feel like it's gonna be like an extra three to five minute walk from where the main action is but I'm cool with parking somewhere where it's easy to park 
views here are gorgeous. It's about a five pound parking fee, which I'm cool to pay. So come with me to Bybury. So this is what the overflow parking looks like. I parked all the way in the back because trying not to get any hit, get my car hit, you know, the further the better. So I'm just approaching this thing called Arlington Road, which is within the Bybury Village. Right behind me, these are like 17th, 18th century homes built with these like very um, kind of stone brick material that is very uh, typical from that time period. And it's crazy to see things that old and that antiquated. Um, being able... <laughs> Being able to just uh, walk the past and to see all the stuff here. Lots of people, there's not too many people here so far. It's a Sunday afternoon, but it is. I'm gonna take some pictures. So they have this really lovely foot path, a uh, public footway, footway, like a path that you could walk across the entire village or just part of it nearing the Arlington Row. I just can't really stress how cool it is to see something so old and actually those houses in Arlington Row with the old brick and stone our current homes right now. Like people actually reside inside of it. Uh, there were signs that say just to be mindful about us being there. Just walking around, hearing the sound of the river and all of the wildlife, the birds. It's really cool. Okay, so I drove out to another larger neighborhood called Siren Sister. I don't know if you can hear the music, but there is a outdoor performance at this uh, park that I'm in called Abbey, Abbey Park? Sounds like Ivy Park? Abbey Grounds Park. And there's just a few people here with their lawn chairs enjoying. Let's take a look. Okay, so <laughs> decided to drive an hour and 10 minutes from where I was earlier to uh, Vista Village. You guys remember, I've been here several times within the past year, but never really drove here. Um, not sure if I'm gonna get anything, seeing that I feel like the deals in the EU were a lot better, but we'll take a look to see. The usual stores, Saint Laurent, Gucci, um, but first I need to use the restroom because I've been holding. Okay, that was a fail. I went to a bunch of different places, didn't find a damn thing. Maybe I'll come back maybe on Tuesday, it's Sunday right now, because uh, a few places had like a digital queue going, which, you know, I they were closed as I was kind of approaching them. But, gonna head back to the hotel in Stone the Wall. I'm hungry. It's gonna take about 50 minutes, I believe, to get back to Old Stocks Inn. Whew. Just got back to the hotel room from being out. I drove so much today. <laughs> I'm so sad I didn't get anything to buy, but I guess that's good in the long run. My drive back here from Bister Village was really interesting because all of the these different factors and elements that could have 
you know, made things harder happened this ride home versus any other ride. Yesterday and earlier this morning, like, there were a few things that were kind of weird, like, the sun was setting and it was literally like blinding me. And apparently, did you guys know that wearing sunglasses in addition to eating and drinking is illegal while driving here? Like I've had multiple people from here mention that to me, which is surprising. Like, especially the sunglasses thing. Like, wouldn't you think you want to like see a little bit better wearing sunglasses? But that was one thing. Second thing is any other drive I've done yesterday and earlier this morning, I've always had somebody in front of me just to kind of lead the way. Like I was able to follow along to wherever they're driving. Whereas in this time, I was leading this drive 90% of the hour and 10 minute drive back to the hotel, which was really, really scary because one, I was setting the pace of how fast we were driving and two, I'm still trying to like make sure I'm on the right lane, making sure that I'm, you know, turning at the right time, signaling at the right time. I was like pretty much dictating all of this and that freaked me out, especially since like I don't like it when people are tailing me like really closely and I feel like a lot of people were were thinking that I wasn't driving fast enough, but you know, I'd rather be safe than sorry and so far things have been good minus one thing. <sighs> I didn't mention this earlier, but around the time when we saw that band playing at that village, um, when I was getting into that parking lot, I made a wrong turn into the exit. So like, typically, there's an entrance and an exit, and I'm used to the entrance being on the right side, but I guess typically it's on the left side. So I pa passed the entrance, and I went into the exit thinking that it was the entrance, and there was a sharp curve when I was turning and it scratched my alloy wheels, which freaked me out. And then I remembered talking to the car rental place and they actually don't, um, if you like, you scratch the alloy wheel, you're fine. Like they're not gonna go again, go uh, come after you. But if you do like the tire and I took a look, like the wheels are scratched a little bit, but then the tire was fine. So it was stressful. And now I'm back. I deserve some food. So I'm gonna go find some food, hopefully, and I'll take you guys with me. It was always on fire, our house, our dreams. We were dancing on a wire, reckless, it seemed. Just got done with Sunday roast. Oh my gosh, that was so good. I ended up getting this roasted chicken and I am very particular when it comes to chicken. I do like boneless chicken and it had that. It had the Yorkshire pudding. It had like the sausage with bacon wrapped around it. It had roasted potatoes. It had all these things, greens, whatnot. Um, I ended up having to pay in the beginning because I think that's how it's like in the pubs. You just pay right when you enter. Um, but I'm heading over back to the hotel. I'm stuffed. That whole thing was about 21 pounds. I also got a beer. So good. Glad to be able to be here on a Sunday for Sunday Roast. Just got back to the hotel room. I lied. I first went to this uh, convenience store called The Co-op. It's kind of like a smaller Tesco. Got some snacks. Although I'm full, I want snacks to nibble on, but do a little haul video. Of course, got a Coke, because I feel like me and vacation and Coke are like three in the same. And then we don't have this flavor back in the States. It's Tangy Cheese by Doritos. And y'all know I love my Cadbury. So <laughs> I got a couple of chocolates. I love the Wispas, but they have the Bitsa Wispa, which is like a smaller version of that. It's very airy, very... It's airy and dense at the same time, if that makes sense. And I've never tried the Crunchy Rocks. They look like they might be clusters of chocolate, 
looks like uh, cornflakes. Oh, there's cornflakes in here too. I wonder if there's any nuts. I'm not allergic to nuts, but may contain nuts. It's probably in a, made in a facility that has nuts, but these don't typically contain nuts, like uh, formally. Anyways, I am going to end today's vlog. It's been a really long day. I hope you guys enjoyed following me around in different villages in the Cotswolds, as well as the brief shopping that I did and the food that I ate. Um, the next few days I will be exploring nearby, but working most of the time, so you'll just follow me around. I might combine the working days together, like in the Cotswolds, like maybe, who knows? It'll probably be combined like Monday and Tuesday since they're pretty much me working. Um, the lovely, lovely uh, host downstairs, hostess, she recommended a few places in Stow on the Wall for me to work out of. I know that um, I can always work from here, but I also want to try new places. She recommended a few coffee shops, a few tea houses, like Afternoon tea is like such a big thing in England, so I figured I might just try it out. Um, so I have a list of places. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I appreciate all of you guys following me along on my trips. See you guys later. Bye!